think you have to press consent. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Lala, and I work with the Youth Job Center at Gage Park High School. And here with me today is... AJ, AJ Garrett with Emoja. And we are so happy to be with you in this school year. Um, even though we're virtual, we are still your support people for the seminar classroom space. Absolutely. We know during this time, um, support looks a little bit different. So we hope you enjoyed this video that we pulled together to just give you some great ideas, tips, and also some great demonstrations of how to incorporate it into your virtual seminar space. All right, so let's just get right to it. Um, so the purpose of this is just to be a support tool for you as you plan out your seminar pace, um, your seminar lessons, and mm -hmm. how you're going to shape the virtual classroom. So this is just some tips and tools for jumping into the virtual classroom space for SEL and community building. So you might be asking yourself like, okay, I have all my assignments. I'm a new seminar teacher, or maybe you were a new seminar teacher last year and you're trying to figure out where do I start? So before jumping into any group check-in or right into your lesson of the day, we recommend that you take a minute or two to let students know what's coming. Um, this would help one, ease any potential anxieties that the students are feeling that morning. And it also gives the young people clear expectations. Absolutely. So welcome to class today. Thank you guys so much for showing up. We're so grateful that you guys decided to spend some time with us during this seminar period. For seminar today, we're going to focus on social emotional learning, and we're going to do that through some really exciting, energizing community builders. And why does that matter? It matters that we have connection with one another. It matters that we get to know each other in order for us to be able to hold space with each other and be able to get as much as we can from one another. Thank you, AJ. So that was just a quick example of how you can, you can even use this slide, which will be emailed to you. Um, it just tells them quickly what we're gonna do today and why they should care about it. Okay, so uh, next we recommend a quick check-in before starting your lesson of the day. This should be um, incorporated as a regular routine, and we encourage you to conduct it in a way that's authentic to you and your teaching style. So no need to reinvent the wheel, no need to start researching new ways to check in with your students, just something that feels already natural to you, and making this something that happens at the beginning of your class. So this, this check-in is quick. It's not a reflection question. It's not asking them to write a paragraph. It's um, using the chat box, right? So it could be a blob tree, which we'll show you, um, or an emoji check-in, which we'll also show you, and they're all included in the Umoja resource folder. If you think about it in a, comparison, a comparative way, when we were in school, you had this quick check-in all the time as your students were filing in from the hallway, um, coming in from their other classes. So making this a part of your virtual team is a great way to reconnect with your students, establish something that will be ongoing, and also just a great way to get them tuned into the chat box, which will be really um, a really big part of our virtual class space throughout the whole school year. So let's jump right into our check-in. I really want to see where everyone is at today in meeting for our seminar period. We're going to use our emoji faces. So each face demonstrates an emotion or how you're coming into the space feeling, right? It has a face and it also has like the name of that emotion. And if you don't see any of the emoji that kind of represents how you're feeling. There's also an emoji with a blank face and a blank line. Go ahead and throw in your emotion, how you're feeling in the chat box. So how we're gonna check in is using a feature where, ooh, pause, sorry. No, that's okay. Can I, I don't think I can pause. The recording. Dang. I'm sorry, I was going to say annotate, but we can't do annotate. No, hold on, let me stop the recording. 